Uh, I think it went well. You know, I learned a lot. You know, under uh, Phil Jackson, and, you know, the great players I had on my team this year, and uh, you know, you know, this is my first year, so I just take it as a learning block, and you know, hopefully next year come back ready to play. I know it was frustrating for you at the end of the year to have the injury and weren't quite able to get back on the court. How are you now, and how will you be able to, to go forward for the summer? Yeah, I actually have a couple more weeks left. You know, uh, just to keep rehabbing and resting, and then uh, we'll get another MRI and uh, see where. We're going to take it from there, you know, and hopefully I can just start summer workouts and, you know, getting ready. Do you experience any setbacks back? I think the hope was to be able to practice with the postseason. Yeah, that was, you know, it's pretty much a setback. You, you know, I was hoping to practice, the, uh, you know, twice. You know, after the first time I got injured, you know, it didn't happen. So, you know, it's kind of a setback. But, you know, I have some time to, you know, fully get healed now and you know, get better. You get better. What did they talk about you? Spe- I mean, talk about with you specifically during the exit interview in terms of your game and stuff. Right. Uh, they just, you know, want me to, you know, obviously get better and get stronger and, uh, you know, you know, work on my shooting skills, you know, and become a three-two. You know, they, they, they would like me at the two position, especially my length and you know, my uh, athletic ability. So, you know, just uh, work at the, those, those key things. Does that require you to change, I guess, more uh, like skill set or or alter it? Uh, I think both, like the skill set and just overall, just get the strength and you know, it's uh, speed and quickness, you know, body things and you know, skill work. You know, as far as ball handling and shooting, things I need to get better if I want to you know, be at the two position and you know, be good at that. Do you think they see you perhaps at that at that position more than even three? Uh, they would like to see me there. You know, I, that's what uh, we spoke about, and you know, that's one of the things they want me to work on. So I'm definitely going to try. When did you learn how to fill? Uh, just, you know, the amount of preparation and, uh, you know, the things that you have to know on and off the court is, is crazy. It's, it's, it's much more in depth than college was. And, you know, he, I think he just overall just, he's taught me about the game, you know, really about the basics and understand how to play the game right. I mean, you, you obviously followed the game pretty close and what it was beforehand. Yeah. When you jumped in there and started playing for him, was there any particular thing that you really jumped out to as far as how he coached the team? Yeah, just uh, yeah, pretty much what I just said. Just paying attention to detail, because you know, I can remember one time I was out there, and you know, uh, he said you didn't recognize you know a certain play, and uh, you know our offense we don't really call plays. It's just, you know, kind of what the defense does, you know, dictates the offense. So you know, I didn't you know recognize it. And, you know, it's one of the things that you know I just got to pay attention to detail. You grew up with uh, Ron and Lamar. What, what was the experience like of being teammates with him at the professional level? Uh, it was a good experience, you know, especially my first year, and, you know, going up looking up to those guys, you know, them being older and veterans, you know, you know, they definitely looked out for me the whole year, you know, for, for years to come, hopefully. Devin, are there any specific things you remember from practice where there was another guy showing you something, like a drill with Kobe or Artest in, in defense? Was there a moment that you remember kind of just thinking something quick then that you could use for the rest of your career? Uh, yeah, no, it's, it had plenty of moments like that this year. You know, uh, and as far as Kobe and you know, you know uh, picking his brain when he likes to when he likes to score in the offense, you know, uh, especially in the beginning of the year, you know, he helped me a lot. You know, uh, and just just uh, giving me pointers on where he liked to score and you know what moves to make and, and at points in the offense. And uh, you know, as far as defense as well, is Ron. You know, Ron's always you know active talking and uh, you know, talking to me and DC. He looked out probably the most out of everybody, you know, on that team. Uh, as far as he's trying to help us, you know, in the game. So, you know, it was a great two guys to you know, have the uh, information brought to. What was it like just being with you and Derek, I guess, as a tandem, mm-hmm. being the two rookies on a, on a veteran team? Uh, it was great. You know, I mean, DC, we always have fun. You know, uh, you know, we was out there in practice, you know, playing hard, and, you know, the, just you know being. Being great teammates for our, for our vets out there, you know, we had a great time, and, and now we're about to be sophomores next year, and we'll be ready to play. Uh, no, I don't think so. Especially, uh, I think just because of, you know, me and DC, we've, we've kind of been brought in that light, you know, you know, coming up playing, you know, always having to play against the best players and with or against. So I think when we stepped up. You know, up here it was kind of the same thing. Let's, let's play our game and let's relax. How's Trey been? I mean, you play with him in the D League and, and here. What, what's it been like for him this week to get this opportunity? Uh, it, uh, yeah, it's great. You know, he, 
It's a, you know, who, who doesn't want to be playing for the Lakers? You know, he's obviously earned it. You know, playing great at Bakersfield, and you know, the time he was here was great having him. What was he? I mean, he, he led the league this morning, right? Yeah. What did what did he provide for you in terms of leadership? Just the skill set he played. Yeah. No, I mean, he's, he's you know he's he's a, one of the best players in the league. Definitely led the league scoring. You know, he's, he's a great player. You know, he just needs the opportunity to play in, uh, in, on this level. And, you know, I'm pretty sure he is. Devin, yeah, what did the atmosphere in the, the playoffs? I guess. Probably more so in the second round. How did that compare with your experience going deep into the NCAA tournament? Just the, the pressure and the surroundings and the media. How, how would you compare those two? Uh, you know, honestly, I think it's, it's kind of the same feeling. You know, just you want to win every game, and you know, just you know, you want to win the championship. That's the goal. You know, uh, you know the pressure's on every game, so you know, it was fun being in that kind of environment.